Hey guys, not too sure if you're going to be able to see this very well, but uh, this is my 86 Mustang. Got a Stinger ECU in here. It's their PIMP. And I've had a lot of questions asking how to hook up your analog signal from your wideband gauge to your ECU. It's pretty straightforward. And uh, I'm going to show you here, if you, if you look, the instructions they give you with it too tells you. So if you forget what pin you have to connect to, Look through your instructions and it'll tell you again. So each one of your controllers, depending on what wideband you get, is going to be a little bit different. I've got um, a glow shift gauge here, and my output, all it required was to ground one of these wires, and then the other one is my signal coming back into the ECU. So look at your wiring diagram that you get with your particular wideband, and then follow that as far as which wire you need to connect to the ECU. On mine, trying to get my mess untangled here. I just pulled this out from under my dash. So on mine here I've got the black wire and I've got a brown wire and my brown wire is what I was supposed to connect to pin 29. So if you look on your wiring harness here, this I pulled off of my ECU. All of your pins are labeled. It's really small, so you got to get really close. But in here, all of your pins are labeled. So it starts from the other side, and it's 10 on the other side, or 1 on the other side, and then it goes to 20. So if you look on this end where your black wires are, your ground, you got 20, 40, 60. So you have to find the middle pin. Pin 29 is what you're looking for. If you look right here, I've got mine hanging out. But it is right here in the middle. And if you dig through your wires, you'll be able to find which pin is labeled as 29. So on the other end, it's 10, or it starts at 0, and then it ends at 20. So on the other side over here, it starts at 21. So you find 29, which is right here in the middle, and you cut that. And then you splice your analog signal coming from your wideband controller into it. All this does is bring your um, your analog signal and you have to set it up whether you want it to do it in voltage or in uh, current. So you'll have to look at that on the setup of your ECU when you get to that point. But here is where your physical connection is and you don't need your um, your factory O2 sensor connected here anymore so you can cut it and then just splice your other connector in on top of it or your other wire in on top of this like I did here butt splice connector. There's a lot of people that, that recommend soldering instead of doing a butt splice. They say that you can get uh, some signals that are off. I haven't experienced that at all, so for what it's worth, that's what I did. Now as far as the rest of this, your wideband controller here, well this is mine anyway, but it'll give you a pinout for the rest of these other wires here. So one of them is going to go out to your wideband sensor itself, which mine is this one right here. The other one you're going to have some more connections here and I believe it's this one here if I'm not mistaken but this one is where you get your your positive and your negative your key on all of that good stuff um, and then there's another one that connects to the actual gauge I've got my gauge mounted um, right down over here in my console but you can bring power from any source as long as it's 12 volts for the one that's listed as your battery or your constant power and then your switch voltage and all that stuff is usually right down here in your harness too. I can't remember which one is which now because I've tested it so long ago but you can get out your wiring diagram if you've got a Chilton's manual or a Haynes manual for your car and it'll show you which one's which but typically one of these red wires here is going to be your constant power. I actually show you my setup here so I've got an 86 in my console if you look right down here, sorry the lighting's bad, I'm in my garage, I don't have any lights, um, but right down here is where I've got mine mounted. Uh, the one on the left is my wideband and the one on the right is my boost. And in the 86 and the other cars for that matter, you've got a cigarette lighter if you look right down there. And that's got constant power and you can also find um, Usually your light wires, you know, the, the illumination wires, I should say, not your light wires, but the, the wires for your illumination for all of your gauge instruments and stuff like that are going to be right down in here, too. If you've got a 
87 to 93, all of that stuff's right here behind the radio too. And you can use um, the switch power coming from your key to your radio for your, uh, for your switch power too. It's pretty much up to how you want to wire it. Um, but I would suggest to get a meter, test the wires, or look at a manual and find out which wires are in your particular car so that you can get that set up properly. I don't have any power in my car. I'm doing an engine rebuild right now. My battery's out, so I can't turn anything on right now. But down here again, if you look at your wideband controller, you're going to have to get your manual out, or at least the wiring diagram that it came with, and make sure that you get the right connector. And if you look on mine, you'll have to look. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this one here says sensor. This one here says this one right trying to point to it and hold the light at the same time. So this one here says analog output. This one here says sensor. So that'll go out to the sensor that's mounted in the exhaust, your O2 sensor. This one here is your power. This one here goes to the gauge itself. So this one, you'll just have to look at your wiring diagram. Like I said, my red was the power. I believe the white was the switched and the black is your negative. You got to make sure you get a good ground on this too. But it's pretty straightforward stuff as long as you've got the wiring diagrams that came with the equipment you've got. Hopefully that was helpful. If not, throw me some comments below. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time otherwise I'd go into more detail but uh, throw me some comments. Let me know what you think and uh, hopefully that helps out. Have a good one.